Hey guys, it's Stuart here from thesnakecatcher.com.au. I'm happy to announce the first episode of the Snake Catcher Encounters, which I'll be introducing you to the most common snake that I encounter as a snake catcher on the Sunshine Coast, and that fella happens to be the coastal carpet python. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we have a beautiful coastal carpet python. I relocated this guy today out of a chook pen. Now, obviously it's not ideal to have a carpet python in a chook pen, but this guy's very friendly and gorgeous patterns and colors on him. So carpet pythons like this fella can grow probably on average to around two, two and a half meters. Larger specimens up to four meters. So. So this guy here is a python. That basically means that he doesn't have any fangs, so he doesn't have any venom. He has a mouthful of teeth, and he uses those teeth to grab a hold of his prey, and then he'll call around his prey, squeeze them as hard as he can, and eventually suffocating them and then swallow them whole. When a snake flicks its tongue out into the air, the receptors on the tongue pick up very small chemical particles which are perceived as scent. Now the tongue then goes back into the mouth, into an organ known as the Jacobson's organ, which is like a little computer processor sending messages to the brain about what scents have been picked up in the environment. Now it's actually believed that the forked tongue is used for directional purposes as well. This means that if more chemical particles are picked up on the right hand fork compared to the left, then the snake can assume that whatever these chemical cues are coming from, it's most likely located to the right hand side of the snake's current position. Amazing stuff. Carpet pythons spend a lot of their time on the ground, moving from one area to another in search of shelter and food. What you're about to see is a different area that pythons inhabit. That area I'm talking about is within the trees. Now pythons are arboreal, meaning they've evolved the ability to climb and live within the trees. You might often see pythons resting or basking high up in the trees and you might often think, you know, how did you get up there? Watch and learn. Carpet pythons have incredible strength and climbing capabilities. As you can see, this fella is scaling directly up the trunk of a palm tree. No branches to hold onto, nothing. All he's using is his incredible strength throughout his body. As you can see, he anchors the top half of his body around the trunk, pulling and coiling the rest of his body up. Once he feels secure, and once he has a grasp of that trunk, he'll then push with the lower half of his body, pushing the top half up, and then repeating the process until he gets to the top of the tree. Absolutely amazing stuff. 